get extra rewards for open ex more oex tokens airdrop for users but how do we do that we're going to find out in this video so stay tuned to the end so you get it let's start with other updates first let's start with ice ice has some important updates community updates tomorrow marks a significant milestone in our journey towards the mainnet launch of ice open network we're free to announce the launch of our testnet together with the explorer and web wallet this pivotal moment signals the start of onboarding users and empowering the community to contribute to our blockchain ecosystem in tandem with our testnet launch ice will start trading on htx tomorrow at 10 a.m utc this listing on one of the industry's oldest and largest exchange is a testament to the growing recognition of ice network's potential but that's not all stay tuned for the upcoming launch of frostbite app a key component of our ice net ecosystem frostbite stands as a pivotal piece of the puzzle in our journey toward decentralization etc so basically this is a screenshot from the testnet we can also see that ice has been listing on different big exchanges and this is very good news because it means that people are adopting it they have made very significant partnerships and we can only hope for the best since some of us are still holding the tokens and we hope for 10x 100x but they need to make the developments needed for it and just a day later as promised the testnet launch has started and you can claim the ice coins enter the competition for htx but you need to deposit so it's not compulsory if you want to then you can but basically the testnet has started and i'll do a video on how to participate in the testnet if you want to you can you never know if there's going to be any rewards for it i'm not sure they never said anything like that but you learn things just like open ex we are going to talk about in a bit you learn things and at the end of the day whether or not you earn anything from it you never know if you were to get any gifts from transacting with it so just make sure to participate if you can from dop the update was that they did a community poll which we talked about on the telegram channel gave you the link to vote and the result for that vote is out but they're doing another vote which we're going to be looking into so what's this vote for this vote is basically for the testnet participants and private sale contributors if you're interested then you can vote for how many tokens will be allocated to testnet exclusive sales so that's people who did testnet they're going to sell you some tokens so it depends on what you voted for that is going to happen now of course there are complaints that some people are using bots or dop is using bots but that's not really a concern because there is no proof for that but we have the result so let's check it before i start i just want to tell you that this does not this this is not a this this poll is not for the amount of tokens you're going to receive for participating in the testnet instead it is a poll for how, how many tokens is going to be allocated for people who want to buy the token but those people are only testnet participants so you will still get your airdrop allocation so here is the community poll so over 236k voters voted and as you can see it was no allocation zero allocation and option two which was proceed with a testnet exclusive round allocating up to 1.5 billion tokens based on the leading poll choice so there's a second poll and you don't need to participate in it but in case you want to steal then steal the same link connect and try cast your votes make sure that your decision is heard they are only choosing between the zero allocation and 1.5 billion tokens so if you want to reduce supply and you do not want more supply in the market and you're not interested in buying you can put zero allocation if you want to buy you can put 1.5 billion it depends on what you want to do they have already increased supply and it's not really good but what can we do and just wait for it to do well hopefully 
it is worth the time we're taking. Meanwhile, let's move on to another project. And that project is Cilia. Of course, one that we have been mining and is still ongoing. So what are you waiting for? If you haven't, the link is going to be in the description box. Every link as required in this video is going to be in the description box. So you can check it out there and make use of it. You can also join our Telegram and WhatsApp channels. If you're subscribed, then make sure to you get updates, get information before they even come out on video. You also get the links to projects and links that are needed over there on all through. So make sure to join. You can ask questions. Thank you very much. Meanwhile, important announcement is that KYC2 is starting soon. The BSC wallet address is going to be needed to make sure to have one. That's before the start of the ICO. Before you can do KYC2, you would need to pass KYC1, which we did a video on it. Make sure to check it out and complete the KYC1 process. It's not very hard. I can assure you that. How do you get the extra OEX, extra rewards from OpenEX, Testnet? what do you need to do before we talk about that make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn the notification bell just right there below so that you don't miss new videos when they come out on the channel what new videos join new projects check updates so that you don't miss out on anyone when they come out and this is going to be very helpful for you in your crypto journey meanwhile also give a like to the video i really appreciate it thank you for reaching to this point let's continue so basically what you need to do is as they said here many members of the oex community have diligently completed the five oex missions through hard work choose to share that all who've completed the missions will find unexpected surprises during the mainnet tge event stay tuned for the excitement so what you need to do is to complete all five oex missions but there's one more thing so stay tuned to the end the unexpected surprises during the minute tge is something that we don't know will it be oex will it be core will it be something else well the most probable surprise is going to be open ex probably more open ex sent to our wallet address so this is very good for us and we can be very happy and very expectant but of course there are still problems with the testnet hence it is a testnet and we hope that they solve it so what is one of them that is still being faced by the community let's check here they said for those experiencing oex showing as zero due to capitalization or spelling errors in email binding don't worry after starting the address binding in the satoshi app we'll be running a correction if you didn't receive testnet usd try re-entering the quiz interface for another attempt your participation matters to us so basically if you might bind your email and you see zero instead of what you have in your satoshi app don't worry it's going to be corrected once it is time for address binding but if you need testnet usd and you've done the quiz we cannot try again yet maybe there needs to be an update for the app for us to download when that comes out or if that comes out i'm going to keep you guys informed on that but for now you can't do anything on the quiz interface you cannot redo the quiz if you've done it before so we need to wait what updates are there for that when the bugs are fixed and that's basically it thank you for watching look forward to the ice testnet video and to further updates on this project cilia kyc we are entering a time of many projects launching and we can only hope that they do better and better as they come out thank you for watching this video till then